So Fiend is drawn from a whole variety of influences ranging from uh, pop culture in video games, the same goes for television shows. Picture your, your good old classic samurai films and you'll start to see those moments of pause and tension slowly build up and, and at the same time nothing's happening on the screen. Realising having like, okay yes you want it to look dark at the end product but that's not how you should be filming it for. So you need to actually have a lot of light, you need to actually see a lot of detail. Um, for us here, um, filming at Crow Castle, um, in the background we've got a brick wall and some seats and, a, and an alehouse. Phil and I have worked together for several years now. Nowadays we can literally just pick up the sticks and just work something out as we go along. For Fiend, we had got together maybe four or five times and and ran through and rehearsed it over the course of a couple of hours each time we'd catch up. Then we've also got to have in mind the fact that we're telling a story through it all too. So we need to have chapters, we need to have uh, a balance of power between the two characters. I was looking uh, through a thrift store in town um, and I found a Canon camcorder. Uh, and so as I got home and went through everything, in one of the side pockets of the bag was uh, this microphone with, um, with this windsock over it. Whoa. Fast forward to a couple of months ago when we found out about the road competition, I was like, hang on, I wonder what my microphone is. Opened up the bag and boom, on every single piece of material on the microphone was road and that kind of lit a fire under us to just go let's straight away let's enter this competition. Finding the balance between sort of those cinematic moments and the fight itself it's it, it, it comes down to a lot of research. There's tension between the characters there's those moments of silence so hopefully it's a little bit of something for everyone who's watching it. We, we work best in the moment and when we have to improvise having to having to think on your feet with okay cool we've got a fire here and now we just threw it a, a piece of material into that fire and it's bursted because we put um, a flammable liquid on it to make it burn quicker um, and now that's brightened up the shot and everything okay how does that work and how do we, how do we get around that um, uh, affecting uh, the iris of the camera or whatever um, yeah it's been great to break it down into three words would be fantasy supernatural exciting